Hi everybody, my name is Miss Heaney and today we are going to be learning about Virginia's natural resources. The first natural resource that we are going to learn about today is a river. A river is a large stream of fresh water that flows across land, usually by sea. So in Virginia studies, we talked about the four major rivers, the Potomac, the Rappahannock, the York, and the James. But we haven't really learned much about what a river is. A river is a body of water that is usually moving. So here we'll see some pictures of different rivers. And here is a picture of the Rappahannock River. That's one of the four major rivers we learned about this year. It is a flowing body of water. So if you see down here where my cursor is, this looks like a very fast body of moving water. This looks a little more slow. We can tell because it's not like white water rapids like that one picture to the left of us, okay? Um, so the river is a stream of moving water, even if it's fast or if it's slow. The next body of water that we are going to talk about is a bay. A bay is an inlet of the sea or other body of water and is surrounded by land on three sides. So that's extremely important that you need to know that a bay is surrounded by land on three sides. So here we have a picture of Virginia and you can't really see the outline. But this is Virginia here, and this is the eastern shore that we've learned about. The Chesapeake Bay is where my cursor is. This body of water here is the Chesapeake Bay. It is bordered with land on three sides. So one, two, three. So that's how we know that this is a bay, and specifically this is the Chesapeake Bay, which you should be remembering from Virginia studies. Here is a picture of a bay. There is land here, land here, and we can assume there's land on this side once we get further up the body of water. So a bay is surrounded on three sides by land. The next body of water that we are going to be talking about is a lake. A lake is a body of water that is usually fresh and entirely surrounded by land, and it's unconnected to the sea, except maybe by a river or a stream. So a lake is kind of like a round body of water. We see here a picture of a lake somewhere in the world. Here is a picture of Lake Drummond. We talked briefly about Lake Drummond in Virginia studies, and Lake Drummond is a naturally occurring lake in Virginia in the coastal plain tidewater region. So we see that this lake is kind of like a bowl um, or a big puddle in the middle of our land. Sometimes it can be connected by a river or a stream to a different body of water, but a lot of times it's not, and we can see that in this picture here. The last body of water we're going to talk about is an ocean, and this is the biggest body of water that we're going to be talking about. An ocean is a large body of salt water. There are five of them on Earth, okay? Um, our oceans are always going to be salt water. It's really hard to capture how big these oceans are. Here is a picture of an ocean. It's just water, okay? You can't zoom out that much. I did include a map here, and here is the Atlantic Ocean. It spreads from the United States all the way to Europe in Africa, and it touches some as South America, okay? And remember, there's five of these oceans on Earth. So I hope that this was a good review of the natural resources. Remember, we have a river. A river is a channel of moving water. We have a bay. A bay is a body of water that's surrounded with land on three sides. We have a lake. A lake is a body of water that is usually by itself. It doesn't touch anything else except maybe a river or a stream. And then we have our ocean that is the biggest body of water, and it is always salt water. Thanks for watching. Bye.